Good morning, my garden friends. It's Sunday morning, and I'm out here in my backyard, and I'm just looking at all of the beauty that I have in front of me and appreciating every minute of it as much as I can, staying in the moment and reminding myself that not everyone has this. And even if they did, this is my special place and my special time. And I was listening to Brooke Gianetti from Pacina Farms, and she's on Instagram, and a lovely lady, and she was talking about the attitude of gratitude, and I thought, that's such a great rhyme, I love that, and so I reminded myself that, yes, I, I am 70 and a half, and yes, I do have Crohn's disease, and Yes, I do get migraines, and yes, I have a lot of health issues, but boy, there are days that I just can't wait to get out of bed and to see what trouble I can get into, and by trouble I mean, you know, what can I do out in the yard, what can I plant, uh, what can I dig up and move to another spot, <laughs> yeah. and there are those people who are just so happy to sit and read their book or watch TV or knit and crochet and uh, do quiet little things in the house and personally I just love being outside and seeing what there is to see and watching things as they isn't that pretty <gasps> seeing the leaves that hopefully will soon start to change color here in Florida. And all the plants that are just waiting to start to rebloom. I cut back my little grasses last month and you can see this is purple fountain grass and it's just just getting ready to fill out again and then probably a Another couple months it will start to send out plumes and I can have that for my uh, for, for my arrangements when I start to arrange in the house and uh, be really pretty at Christmas one well, to have the big purple plumes and on the on the dark side I'm fighting aphids on my hibiscus again I don't really, do I see any? Maybe I've gotten them. I've been using neem oil and diatomaceous earth in combination and trying to keep them at bay. The agapanthus looks very healthy. Although a little black tip on the little, they think to do this at this point of the year. And uh, it won't be until June that I start seeing the big gorgeous blooms coming up again. Uh, this is a blue Nile, for those of you who might not remember. And here is one of its offspring. And I do have others over here that were last year's little daughters, as my friend Diane reminds me that it's mother and daughter, not not adult and pup. But uh, anyway, this is this is my yard. This is my grateful spot. This is my Sunday, going to church and uh, saying a rosary and uh, 
my happy place. So I hope you will find yours whatever day you're watching this, whatever day it comes out, and know that there is a happy place for all of us. We just have to look and find it. Garden what you've got. Be grateful for what you have. Take care and have a great day. See you real soon. Bye-bye.